Hey everybody, it's me, Carrie. I'm here today to do my November haul. Um, I do have a Mystic box that uh, will be here Monday, so I may either add that on the end of this or just do just the unboxing. Um, so if you guys have a preference, you know, just let me know down in the comments. Um, so I went ahead and I got quite a few books uh, in November. And um, I'm going to start off with a historical um, Lorraine Heath, The Earl Takes All. And I get most of like my historicals and things, unless I can't find them on there. I usually get those from uh, thrift books, um, just because you can get those for like two or three dollars there so if I can't find them in like a local like um half price book or something like that then I'll get them from there um this one was not on there so I had to get this from Amazon and this is uh Jude Devereaux's Highland Velvet um this is a Scottish historical um I think think this is the book that they were talking about on Faded Mates um, where the guy kind of leaves her um, and has to come and do a lot of groveling so I believe that's the book that uh, they were stating that they were pretty sure that it was so I grabbed that one and I'll check that out um, I got A Pirate's Pleasure, also a historical pirate, and I have to read that in the next few days for Historical Hellions Book Club, so I can get on there and talk. I try to leave notes on these if I remember when the uh, actual date is of the show that it's going to be a part of uh i have eloise james my american duchess this is for the Ro rake appreciation society um jen from book refuge and crystal from crystal's bookish life and that is like december Third, it's going to be on Crystal's channel, I believe. Um, I got this in a Harlequin box that I got. Um, One Little Secret by Maureen Child. And that is going to be a Secret Baby, which is not my favorite. But I am going to read it and I'll let you guys know. This is going to be also for uh the rake appreciation society i believe january's pick i think the duke takes all is december not december january's i don't know <laughs> i'll put all the information down below once i figure it out but this is one of their picks also um ravishing the Harris by sherry thomas And I got this from um, Dangerous Romance Club. Uh, this is a um, special edition Lessons in Sin by Pam Godwin. Yeah, that's not the uh, the normal one. Has the uh, the priest gentleman on the front of it, and this one is just the the rosary. Let's see. Let's see. So I got that one in there. And I also got in that box The Air by Sophie Lark. So you get two pretty thick books in there now. And they only have the, they used to have like uh, three different sized boxes, but now they just have the one. I think it just got to be a little overwhelming with trying to figure out what goes where, which I understand. Um, and 
I've read the first. This is from the Kingmakers. This is Kingmakers number one. Um, I read number one from the Brutal Birthright. So I'm going to continue on in there and try to get all of those completed. Um, I have Ruthless Creatures by J.T. Geisinger. Geisinger. I don't know. And I've heard tons of good things about this. I know there's a few books in, in this one also. So I've got to get started on that. Um, this came in um, Dark Heart Romance book box. Um, and that is a book box that is put together by um, KFC Hallman and JL Beck, I believe. Um, and I've been a subscriber to that, uh, for a few months. And, uh, this is by BL Mute and this is Hush Money. And those are like, I mean, as you could probably guess, dark heart romance is going to be, um, dark, darker romances. I got this, um, because of the Bonkers um, Romance podcast. If you guys don't listen to that, you definitely should. Um, they are very hilarious. And they read this one for that. That's uh, Karen Marie Moaning's um, Beyond the Highland Mist. And I actually read this a long, long time ago when it originally came out. And uh, totally forgot about it. So that was a fun walk down memory lane. Um, I am trying to collect books that are going to or have been changed into Netflix movies. Um, just to see the differences in them. And I may be the only person that's never read this one. Uh, and that is after by Anna Todd and look how thick this thing is I feel like this should be all three movies <laughs> but I guess it's not um I don't know there are quite a few of those um I got the book box Illumicrate's Afterlight one, which is the romance one. It comes out quarterly, so every three months you get one. And it had All the Feels by Olivia Dade. And so I can't wait to read this one. And the last book I got, um, besides, like I said, the Mystic box that I get every other month. Um, and this is also for the, um, the Netflix adaptation reading that I'm going to try to get together. Um, and that is You by Carolyn, Caroline Kep, Kepness. And so those are my books that I got. And now I can finally clear my desk off. And um, I will probably see you guys in a few days, or I may just do a separate uh, Mystic Box opening um, to add these in. All right, well, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.